Good job, everybody. My name is Osman Gordon. Welcome back to Subnautica News. Now, this episode, I'm just going to show you some things on Trello, and it's based around the Ghost Leviathan, and that's pretty much the whole topic of this video. Now, I'm aware of the Mushroom Forest Teleporter Cache thing. I'm aware of that, um, so th that's all good. I know about it, um, and I might make a video on it at the weekend, but I'm not sure. I don't think I'll make one. It's not going to be included in this video, so if that's what you're looking for, then it's not here. But this is really, really equally interesting, if not more so than that. So this is the Ghost Leviathan, and this was on Trello, and it says something about needing animation. So that's essentially saying the model is finished, and they just need an animator, and obviously I assume they need a programmer as well, because that is the biggest problem that they have at the moment. But that is not the main focus of this video. The main focus of this video is that the sounds for the Ghost Leviathan have been released by one of the sound people um, on SoundCloud of the Ghost Leviathan. So the kind of sounds it will make when it's in the Lost River, if it ever makes it into the game, which I really hope it does, as I'm sure most of you do too. And it sounds amazing, so I'm going to play that for you now in its entirety so you can understand what it's like. I'll leave a link in the description to the... SoundCloud file and then there's a little bit of news afterwards that you might already know about but that's pretty much it so here's the here's what it sounds like it sounds incredible Okay, so as you could tell from that, it's going to sound incredible, and those sound effects are so well made, as with every other sound effect in Subnautica, it sounds incredible, and it sounds terrifying, but obviously it still don't know if it's going to be um, vicious or peaceful yet, I'm not entirely sure. So this is an interesting one, this is about the Precursor Prism, which is of course the primary research facility that area, and it's basically just a big checklist of the things that they're going to add to it, and stuff that they've already done, so there's the Mushroom Forest Teleporter Cache. That's already there. They're going to add a teleporter cache to the crag field, which is really interesting, because that is a brand new biome. Um, miscellaneous, they're going to remove the heat from the inside of the prison, so obviously the inside of the prison is not going to be as hot as the rest of the inactive lava zone, which is good, because we won't need the exosuit to go around in it then. Um, there's some detail that needs doing. They're adding, adding a teleporter cache to the mountains. And there's already one there, so I assume that just means they're detailing the one that's already there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, dissection room, I don't know if this is talking about the dissection room in the in the Lost River base, or if that's a new one that's going to be in the primary use, let's say, I'm not entirely sure. This one is an interesting one, this is the pipe room. Uh, this is a detail pass, art pass, scannables, data terminals, terminals even, all of that. And then there's one, people going through pipes, so perhaps you'll get to a pipe room in the facility, and there's going to be a peeper going through them, like maybe a little cutscene thing. I don't know, just a random event, perhaps, I'm not sure. The aquarium, um, which is obviously where the Sea Emperor Leviathan is stored. Um, finalising terrain, adding peeper vents to the sidewalls. That's interesting. I don't know what that means. Peeper vents. Does that mean that they feed the Emperor peepers? Is that how it works? I don't know. I thought they were um, like whales in the in the way that they they used... They, they ate microorganisms or small organisms like shrimp and cr krill, is it krill? Like a whale, but obviously they don't eat shrimp and krill because there isn't shrimp and krill on um, on Subnautica, but I, maybe rock grubs are a possibility as to what they could eat. So I'm not entirely sure what a peep event would be. Um, they're going to move the aquarium and they're going to get a moon pool teleporter to the raised area in south and they're going to add water force fields. Um, and, and all that stuff. Make decision about the serum recipe, so that's going to be the recipe for the serum, which I assume is the serum to, to, um, to cure the Kara. I don't know why, I just, like, stabbed myself in real life, but with nothing in my hand. I, I, that was weird. 
Okay, ignore that. Um, adjusting water level in moon pool. I don't know if this is talking about the the precursor array moon pool or whether this is a new moon pool in the primary research facility. I assume it's the primary research facility because all of this is precursor prison. So I'm sure the dissection room is also in the prison as well. Antichamber. So remove green tanks from the antechamber prefab. Green tanks set up in world with scanning. Add labs to world. Decide on plan for door above entranceway if it's not being used for a teleporter. Hook up central pillar animations to trigger on player proximity. So that's the thing that turns around, I think. The central pillar. Is that the light column? I'm, I'm not sure. Don't don't take any of this as fat. And then the entryway. Add animated pillars to break up huge ramp area. That is a good idea because it's really long. Um, and consider moving water force field and locked door inward to make the dry section of the corridor shorter. That is also a good idea because it's a really long corridor. And of course they're talking about the um, the, the, the one that like kind of takes you up into the main area of it. So that's really cool. There's a submarine hologram projector. I'm not entirely sure what this is, um, but I assume this will be on the Cyclops, and we may be... I'm not going to... Uh, these are just theories at this point, because I'm not entirely sure what it does. I maybe you get transmissions from it. Uh, maybe you maybe it's for scanning animals. You can get more detail out of them. Maybe use a 3D model. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to be, so don't take any of that as fast. It's just theory... theory <laughs> It's just theorizing, uh, so that's pretty cool. And then there is, I think that's that's pretty much it. Uh, warning animation. Okay, so they're gonna have a warning animation for the crash fish. That's interesting. Oh, also they might be changing the kush bush biome. Um, kush bush, kush bush, kush bush. Oh my god, kush bush biome because of copyright reasons. So it might not be the kush. They, uh, they might not be Koosh Bush biomes anymore because they based it off Koosh Balls, which is owned by Hasbro, apparently. I'm going to look that up now because I don't actually know what Koosh Balls are. Okay, so this is a Koosh Ball. <laughs> so this is perhaps what they based the Koosh Bush biome on. <laughs> That's really interesting. I had no idea that these existed. So they're just like bounty ball things, are they? Like uh, squidgy stress toy things? I'm not entirely sure. That's, that's funny. That's an interesting little thing. I did not know that. Well, there you go. The more you know. And then this is the thing you probably know about. It's pretty new news, but it's been covered already by a couple people. Uh, it's just the Subnautica Cyclops explosion. And this is the view from the inside. Uh, it looks really cool. The fire comes from the engine room, which makes perfect sense. It goes through the Cyclops, and then you get killed, obviously, as the Cyclops explodes. And then there should be a view of the outside. Okay, he's respawned in his life pod, of course. And if we skip forwards a little bit, we should be able to see the animation for it. So he's going to destroy it again. And that looks awesome. It does look incredible. So I cannot wait for that to be implemented. It's going to be amazing. And especially, I think I'm probably just going to destroy it over and over again when I'm inside. Because that animation for being inside it while it happened looks really cool. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you're feeling really, really generous, subscribe to Crunchy's David. Until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Try my friends.